Tunisia's revolution was never religious. But it is an Islamist party that has benefited the most from this new democratic era. The first confirmed result is that a number party has achieved the highest position nationally and in all constituents. The party says it doesn't want an Iranian-style state, but a moderate system of Islamist governance. Along the lines of Turkey's Justice and Development Party. But there is concern that could soon change. The historic leaders of the, uh, of the party, of the uh, Nahda, may be thrown away by the basis by the grassroots militants. Ten months ago, under President Zine El Abedin Ben Ali, Enada was banned, its leaders exiled, its members imprisoned. It's an incredible turnaround in such a short amount of time. Enada is a party already behaving like it's in power. It says it's a victory for democracy, but there's a big difference between being in opposition and being in government. One prominent blogger says Enada will need to convince all Tunisians it is ready to lead. Will they have the capacity to rule this country that's a, a free country where free markets, where there are a lot of corporations and if everything is at stake right now? Enada will not be able to make decisions on its own. It will not have a majority of the seats on the Constituent Assembly and it will need to build a coalition with other parties. If it succeeds, Tunisia may have moved from dictatorship to democracy. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Tunis.